Hello everyone, this is Ben Holmes. I'm here to do another tutorial for uh, Venue Magic. Just wanted to uh, first take a minute to uh, talk about what we're going to do today. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a generic, really generic LED package uh, that's been put together. Um, one of our customers has this package, asked me to do this video, so here we are. So. I'm going to go ahead and open up the manual that came with the with that particular lighting package. The lighting package is basically four LED lights and this lighting controller. The lights themselves don't actually have a manual. Um, and so sometimes you have to really, really dig in to be able to understand what is actually needed to make this particular light work. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I read through this the entire manual dug down, finally found exactly what I needed to know about the lights. This particular controller assigns five channels per light. RGB, dimming, and shutter, so or strobe, depending on, on uh, what you're used to hearing. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using to create a custom LED light in, to, in Venue Magic. So let me open up Venue Magic here. And I'm using uh, our highest end uh, product that is still about, it's just about to be released, the Show Control Plus, SC Plus. So I'm going to go into t under Tools, User Fixture Library, and I don't think I have an Optima. I do not. So I'm going to go Add Toma, if I can type, Optoma. Okay. Then we're going to just do a par 64, which is the the light size. And I'm going to choose RGB lamp as the fixture type. This allows me to sort when I'm doing searches and different things. Makes it really easy to find lights. Click OK. Next thing I'm going to do, so now I have my par 64. I'm going to click on that. Click channels. We're going to add. What we've tried to do here is we've tried to make it as easy as possible to add uh, particular channel types. So for these particular fixtures, they're RGB, so we just add RGB. We're only going to add one because there's only one RGB channel per fixture. Click OK, and it automatically adds all of the subchannels, red, green, and blue. So next thing I need to add is the dimmer, and we're going to just rename this to dimmer and click OK. So going back to our manual, so there's our RGB right there, our chief dimming, and now I have a shutter or strobe. So click Add, and do, 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 do. notice we do not have a specific t channel type for shutter or strobe, so we can pick whatever we want. I'm going to go ahead and pick dimmer again and just label this strobe. Click OK. Now what it does is we add um, basically what a, a cluster. What cluster is, is it's the is it allows us to group that light together when it gets over onto the um, the lamp preview window that we have. So I'm actually going to open this back up, change the channel cluster back to zero click OK and now I have my fixture all set up in Venue Magic um, ready to go if the light manufacturer was really weird and put red blue green I can change it here to match the particular order that I have if I need the strobe at the top I can just do that click OK notice it changed my order here so that my strobe is now at the top. Put the strobe back down at the bottom, click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now the second thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and export this fixture. So I'm going to come down here, there's my Optoma, there's my PAR64, and then it's what this is going to do is this is going to let me save it out to a file. So that I can actually share on our forums. Toma par 64 
and this is a fixture library files. You can save as many fixtures to a file as you want for sharing. It's usually best to just do one at a time. Now go ahead and click Save. It exported that fixture. Click OK. Save and close. Now if I go into my fixture setup, I can come over here to User Library, scroll down, and find my light, Toma, and then I can drag and drop it over into my uh, into where it, it should sit, uh, what channel it should listen on. And there we go. That's basically exactly how to add your own custom fixture. If you have any other questions, post your notes below, and I'll go ahead and answer them. Have fun!